Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you another Wi-Fi battle before I go ahead into work today. We're gonna against the Mad Hatter. Uh, gonna be, oh, such a very good match today. Again, still dealing with the whole lag situation with my recording. It's gonna be one of those things where you might hear my voice clear and on time with things but it's not gonna match the video entirely so I still have the fact that my mascot Squirtle is gonna be the cameo face of everything oh my god he just turned down my request hello any of the better requests Candy. on the way we'll be able to at least do what I need to do before I go into work because again I am on a clock time clock right now trying to get into this match because I can't get the match with Alex so we're gonna get the match with uh okay so since I can't get the match with match with Alex, we're gonna get a match with uh, uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Hatter, and we're just gonna pretty much do this, do this match here and whatnot. Um, so let's select the rules. Select the rules. So the normals, singles match six. Blah blah blah. Uh. Again, I am gonna try to go with. I don't know any more. Because most of the Pokemon I have have legendaries, and I don't want to use legendaries because that's the whole point of my rules is not to use legendaries. So, here we go. Let's battle. So, we're getting in this match, so this is going to be our third match of today before I head into work on July 4th. Yay. So that will go, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. So we're just going to pay more focus on the match here. So I don't mess up. Okay, so, whew, he got like two dragons up on his side. He got... Whoa, a Ninja. Okay. You got two bug type Pokemon on his team. You got one steel type and you got one water type. This is very interesting. I am gonna always lead off with my third generation Pokemon being the uh Swampert and whatnot. And see how that goes. I mean there's nothing really for there's nothing for me to do against his Sir Ninja or whatever you call it. Sir Ninja, Sir Ninja. Sir Ninja. So, it's gonna be very interesting of what happens. Coming out with the spin, I'm going into my, ma not my mascot, but he goes into Galvantula, so pretty much know where he's going with this. And you've seen this in the last match that I had, the second match that I had, where Sticky Webs is bound to come up apart. He switches. Oh my gosh. That is a nice play on the switch, though. Okay, so. I want to go for Waterfall, but I don't think Waterfall is going to actually do any damage. I forgot how Wonder Guard goes as to elemental setups and whatnot. What works on to Ninja? Can can I land a waterfall? Wonder Guard. Okay, so Wonder Guard is definitely a no. Can I land a Ice Punch? Maybe. Please 
let me land ice punch, ice punch. Wonder Guard does not have work with ice punch. Okay, so that's good to know. Water and ice are not in my favor. So, so since those are two are just not in my favor at all. Uh, let's see what's directly in my favor at this moment. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out. Because I cannot see myself dealing with this Pokemon. And great, great thing the fact that you use Confuse Ray. Because I have Lumberry. Lumberry snaps me out of confusion. So I should be able to land a Dark Pulse off, take out this Pokemon. And I don't have to worry about Sininja at all. And it has Focus Slash? Are you kidding me? I got the flinch though. Okay, so he shouldn't be able to recover the item anymore. That's, that's, that's one used. That's one used up. This time I can actually kill him in one hit. That, that was the most... That, oh, that was, that was plays though. That was plays. Even though there's a life, that was plays though. That was super plays. I'll, I'll give it to this dude. He had, he had super plays. Matt Hatter, you got super plays, bro. Super plays for days. So he sends out his Galvantula. Nah, his ga Galvantula. I mean, what can I do about his Galvantula, though? I mean, it's a bug type. I got, like, super effective stuff, maybe. I feel like I should just switch into... Who's able to take out the Galvantula at this moment? I know that I had like a Pokemon that could take out the Aventula, but I'm trying to figure out who it was. I don't have anything to take out the Aventula. Bro, I'm so hella mad. Okay. It's it's plain obvious I have nothing against the Aventula. I'm just gonna go straight into attacking it. And I got a crit. Wow, Greninja, Greninja with the full plum glaze, like, yes, Greninja's like, nah, no electric, no electric can handle this, no electric can handle this, no, 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 no electric can handle this, uh, I could go for the ice beam, the ice beam should take it out in one hit, roughly it should take it out in one hit, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it is a quad resist. I mean, it's quad effective against it, so I should be able to like, pull out a one hit KO because I already got damage done to it. And there we go. We blend the ice beam. I get the protein added bonus to it. One shot the. Yep, one shot the Garchomp. I just one shot the Garchomp. That's done. Oh my gosh, and then he sends out his Greninja, so we got a Greninja face-off, ooh, ooh wee, a Greninja face-off, oh, oh my gosh, it's a Greninja face-off, guess what, he goes for the Ice Beam, so that means his Greninja is actually way faster than mine, wow, I wasn't that expecting a faster Greninja than my Greninja, it could be the speed tie though. We could probably have a speed tie. I don't know. But at least I get the toxic off the his Greninja, so either way, if my Greninja does go down before his Greninja, roughly chances of me overcoming his Greninja compared to my Greninja basically. Oh, it was a speed tie. It's a speed tie. And he dodges. He dodges it. Look, this man dodges and able to take out the see I told you it's either it was gonna be the fact that it's gonna be a dodge or whatever the case might be but one of us are gonna either come over this and it happens to be his Greninja so uh let's see 
let's go ahead bring in the fur alligator now what I'm going to do with this fur alligator is try to give a plus one plus one but he's going to go for the skull I better not get no burn no burn no burn no game bro no burn no game bro no burn no great bro so he I get the dragon I get the dragon dance up now I'm at plus so, am I at plus one? I'm at plus one. Let me check. Yeah, I'm at plus one. So, all I need to do, really, is to go for a crunch. Because that's the obvious choice, is to go for a crunch. It should take him out of this range. And I should be able to outspeed his Greninja. Take him out with a crunch. Oh, hello lit right there, bro. Hello lit. Bad Hatter, what you got on oh, my... What you got on oh, my forever? It, uh, oh, 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 Oris, Oris, what, what, hello, 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 what? Come on, ice punch this dude, ice punch this dude, can't outspeed me, ice punch him, it's over, it's GG, it's over, it's GG, oh my, oh my lord, it is GG. It is done. Wait, he still had this Pokemon. I forgot all about his Metal Girls. I bet this is Mega Metal Girls right now too. Cause he was wondering if he could actually use Megas in this match too. And I was like, yeah, go right ahead and use Megas. But he's not gonna Mega. So he's gonna go for a straight Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch is not gonna do as much damage. Again, I'm like Life Orb set up. I have more power. I pretty much just one shot it. And Metal Girls again, GG. That flinch, yeah. The flinch in the crit, yeah, GG. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pretty much one there. Um, again, I'm gonna have to go and get go to work, guys. So, again, if you enjoyed this match. Comment, share, subscribe, like button, push the shades on, stay awesome guys. Bye.